Lola people, Lola fans, friends, and everyone in between. Thank you for coming out today. We ended up uh, just going to chill in the Malasada shop here. We're going to go ahead and get one for one of our Pokemon so we can uh, gain a little bit of friendship here. So welcome back, guys. Of course, we have Smalls, Rufio, and Victor. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, give this to Smalls. It's a little whited out here, so maybe I can adjust the camera slightly. I'm going to drop that Malasada in the fryer. Time to feed you hungry Meowth and the sweet and the fresh Malasada. Oh, uh, that's a sweet sound. Meowth's affection went up a lot. Alright guys, let's pick up right where we left off. We're going to head down to the pier, I believe. Ooh, look at totem stickers. Totem stickers right here. Pick that up. That's our seventh. Looks like we can go in here. Yep, there we go. We're gonna go swing around here, and I think there's an item in the corner here. Ooh, it is a uh, echoed voice attack. That's actually useful. So let's see if we can squeeze back through here. Uh, we are ready to head out to uh, Verdant Cavern to take on the trial captain Elima. We were able to barely beat him um, here in Halloway City, but uh, we can uh, train up, catch another Mon, and uh, start headed our way to the cavern to be able to uh, face off against, I believe it's going to be the gumshoes in this game. So we're just picking up our items, picking up our stuff. Um, I think there's somebody we can talk to in here, but just stick it back here, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. I thought there was, but it wasn't definite. Uh, let's talk to this couple. There might be interesting. Defense is everything in battle. If you use X defense, your opponent's attack will practically bounce right off of you. Here, I'll give you one. There we go. Got an X defense. We might be able to use that. Apparently that's what I should have used against Elima. If you guys watched that last episode. And then this guy's gonna give us an X attack. Yep, it is V stuff. Um there might be items in here, I'm not definite. Rhythm's like, whoa. Uh, let me know if it's a little too bright. I'm still trying to figure out some of these uh, adjustments. After all, there's lots of different Pokemon that'll let you ride on their backs. What did she say? Ah, Alola, land of my dreams. Finally, I'm here to see you. Um, this, what, what do you say? I wonder if they're going to fix it. It would be more convenient to use the vending machine anytime you want. Yeah, so we can't use that. What does this guy say? Uh, wares that aren't for sale. What are wares? Let me know down in the comment section if you know what wares are. What, what does that guy sell us later on? We'll say hi to her. You've got a really sweet kind of face, don't you know? I bet old ladies like to give you candy. Creepy. But old ladies do like to give me candy because candy is delicious. Um, I think there's a totem sticker behind the police cruiser here too. Oh, it's over here. Be on the lookout. Ooh, they got trucks. Ooh, we can actually come down this way. I was like, don't tell me the sign, like, perfectly blocks us. There we go. Okay, we got out. I think there's something behind this, uh... Nope, we can just walk around it. I'm chance gonna say we can't go in there yet. That is the Alola Photo Club, guys. We'll be able to do that after the, tr the couple trials that we have to do. So there's one more item over here. Then we can start heading north. I think it's north. There we go. We got that tiny mushroom. Okay, let's go see if we're going to go catch something on Route 2 here. Let me double check to make sure my team is all healed up. No Team Riot Cap today. They're uh, the same team as last time, and I'm a little bitter about us losing a member, so... We'll go ahead and see how to move this Tauros here. 
Oh, wait. Wait for me, Dapper Drabby. Let's just assume that's her voice. Look at them in the sunlight. Oh, I'm glad to see a familiar face. I always get lost so quickly. I can't figure out the roads here. I can't even buy my own clothes. But you, you moving on to your first travel. You go into Vernon Cavern, aren't you? I read something in an old book once. It said the island challenges were once a journey made to prove yourself and gain strength to battle against the guardian deities of Lola. Like Tapu Koko. Tapu Koko! Uh, the people in Iki Town said Tapu Koko loves Pokemon battles, didn't they? We could meet Tapu Koko once more. Do you think we could find the answer of why it saved you and Nebby on that day, Dapper Trappy? Pew! Oh yes, please take these. They're called revives. You can't use them because you're on a Nuzlocke, but here you go anyways. If you, if you use one on a Pokemon that is fainted, it will recover and feel a little bit better. Or die. It'll stop death for a few seconds. <clears throat> Dapper Drappy, good luck on your first trial. I hope... I will hope that it goes well for you. Now, I always thought about playing a Nuzlocke. Mm, come on, kid. Let's head the route, too. Uh, I always thought about playing a... Uh, a Nuzlocke where, like, you can use revives, but only the amount of revives given to you in-game. But uh, I've never verified that, whether that's a good rule or not. But uh, we're not be out acting that here. We're playing a nonchalant Nuzlocke here. <clears throat> there, Dapper Dabby, I've got this ornery creature calm again now, for, for now. Want to give him a little pat again? That's the way he'll get used to you. <coughs> wow. Hold it instantly. Come on, Dabber Drabby. Try to shoot Taurus a bit of affection. Poke it on the nose. 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 Uh, touch its four legs. Grab it by the horns. You gotta grab it by the horns, guys. I don't know why I'm mooing. Um, uh, maybe old Taurus can hear... Can feel your love for Pokemon. He sure seems happy to know you. And yet, still seems like Taurus wants to stretch his legs on his own island challenge. Ha! So you move out of the way, and then Taurus just sprints away. What? You want to play tag now? This melee melee kahuna never loses friend. So we're done with Hala for a little while. Mmm, hey, your training's pretty fun. I wonder what we'll find up ahead. Dude, stop looking so tired. Let's go. Route 2. So, the question is, should I... Go ahead and catch this uh, rustling grass Pokemon over here and try to get an item. Or should I go up further where I think there's a little bit better Pokemon? Careful here, young trainer. Haven't you seen the way the grass shakes on Route 2? That rustling grass means a hide hides a Pokemon that is dying to pounce on some easy trainer target. But battling these feisty creatures can be worth it. They sometimes drop items after battle. Um, I'm gonna say. Not right now. I think I want to go to the second or third grass. And catch something. I actually think I'm also going to catch something in Halloween uh, Graveyard. Um, because, you know, it's one more team member. And I think it, it's considered a secondary place for me. Look at this beauty crystal. What does she have to face us off against today? A uh, cutie fly. That might be a little troublesome, as Smalls is a dark type. So let's see, what can we do here? Let's fake it out. This is going to be my new favorite move for Smalls here. Just fake out, make it flinch. And then we're going to go ahead and scratch. I don't think Bite has an effect on Cutie Fly. Oh, it has the fairy window. Survive! 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 Oh my gosh, that hit like a truck. Okay, Victor, we gotta rely on you to come and come and do this. Wow, fairy wind hit like a truck. We're gonna have to heal Meowth as soon as possible. We might have to go back and heal him even. Um, that's vice grip. It's the strongest attack I think against Kitty Fly. Ooh, it tries to. Ah, uh, paralyze us. Nice attack, man. Who knew uh, Victor was so strong? 
Ooh, we get paralyzed there. There you go, showing your strength. Destroying that other bug. I um, mean, we're not going to care for it right now. We're just going to run to the Pokemon Center and do it. Wow, I bet you can finish any trial. And we seed money. Wish it was double money, but we'll go ahead and see what we do here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head back to the Pokemon Center, I think. I think there's just more... More people up there. So we're going to head back and try to get a, a healing here because Meow took some major damage from that um, cutie fly. Hope I'm not moving the, the screen at all. Heal my Pokemon. Just worried it's a little bright. Yeah, I think it's coming off really bright. But I, I kept finding problems reading the, the text, so I thought that this might be the better option. I could try to adjust it, though. A little too late for that there, right? It messes with the quality. It seems fine in the outer world, but like once you go into battles, it like fades out. It's another youngster, but I think we can sneak back here. And go to the cemetery and try to catch something here first. Let's see, does it have it's Halloween Cemetery, so it's something new. Let's see if we can catch a nice ghost type here. Ooh, we get a Murkrow. That's not bad. A dark flying type. It's good to get a flying type early on. Go ahead and fake him out, Smalls. And we can add this Murkrow directly to our team, I think. There's a Scratch. He pursues us. Shouldn't do too much. We are Dark-type, after all. And I think Smalls can hit him with another Scratch. Let's hope he doesn't crit or anything here. Astonishing. Not very effective. Good, he didn't flinch. Survive. There we go. Murkrow survives. Let's go ahead and throw, I think, a Pokeball. Let's throw a Heal Ball so he just adds directly to the team here. Ah, he said nope. Nope. Not going. Try another Pokeball here. Let's try a Pokeball. Wow, this Murkrow just is not going to have it. I guess we're going to go with a Great Ball here. Smalls can't take much more of this. Go with the Great Ball. Let's try to catch this Murkrow. We really want this bird type on our team. We don't want to lose any more encounters. What is with this Murkrow? Okay, okay. Let's see if I have any... Any moves on anybody. Let's see about Rufio. Nope. We're string shot. That's about the best we can do. So I think we're gonna go ahead and put Rufio in. And we're just gonna throw Pokeballs until we can catch this Murkrow. It is a hard one to catch, I think. Come on, come on, stay in there, good job, yes, the triple jiggle is legit, we got a crow, so we're going to name this crow, uh, let's 
Read his Pokédex entries, Murkrow. It does evolve, so we can get that Dust Tone and evolve it, I believe. I wanted to check out what kind of Pokémon I- It has a weakness for shiny things. It has been known to sneak into Nest of Gabite, noted collectors of jewels, in search of treasure. Um, hmm. It's a darkness Pokémon, and it searches for shiny things. So let's name it something. What is something that's shiny and dark? Um, let's say a dust stone, right? Um, hmm, shiny. Uh, I don't know what to name it. I really should keep start looking up names before I start recording. Um, I don't know anything shiny. This is where I'd use my phone to look up something, but don't know. So I'm gonna name it Gem, um, cause I don't know what to name it right now, so. It'll be named, he will be named Gem for now. And, uh, I guess if another name shows itself, then I can, uh, rename him later. Insomnia, and it's timid, alert two sounds. Very cool, very cool. We got ourselves a Murkrow. Let's add that to the, uh, thing. Um, and I'm starting to think I need to actually have the experience share on. Uh, let's see if we can get our other catch as well. And then we will, uh, heal them and then face off against these, uh, these trainers. Let's see, I think the grass I want to see... Here's a totem sticker. Is up here? What? Nab Nab. Crab Nab? What? What's this crab brawler doing? Doesn't want to seem to let you pass. It seems to be forcing you towards the hotel, in fact. Um, I guess I gotta go here, then. Okay, so that kind of prevents me from doing anything. There might be something decent in this grass, so we will catch our other encounter here. Add a fifth member to the party. A drowsy! Another guy that's hard to catch. Yeah, I don't like the amount of HP you have left there, Smalls. Yeah, go ahead and make that drowsy flinch. Reach over here, pull Victor out, because it also has bite, but it's not stab or technician boosted. Victor! What should we name, uh, drowsy? Makes you sleep, makes you tired. Um... We'll name Drowsy Hype. Ooh, that was ah, a lot of damage. Okay, let's throw a Pokeball and see Drowsy wants to catch us. We'll name Drowsy Hype, though. As in, like, hip. You know? There we go, we got the Drowsy. No longer sleepy. It's a good name for Drowsy, though. He's Drowsy, he's a late nighter. He clearly stays up late. Um, so what would his good, a good name for him be? Let's just name him like Bro, right? <laughs> Let's see if the uh, Pokédex has anything cool. Drowsy, Drowsy, Drowsy. 
Why don't you check out what kind of Pokemon it is? You call it Pal. It can be spotted near recreational facilities and tending to eat the pleasant dreams of children who enjoyed themselves there that day. Ah, uh, so he's a creep, is what you're telling me. <laughs> um, so you're just gonna, I'm just gonna have to name him Creep, I think. Either that or Pleasant. Recreational facilities. They had to put facilities in there. Um. That's just creepy, dude. Yep, I'm sure everyone's named him this before, but hey, uh, he is, uh... I don't know why I added an extra letter there. He is, uh... Oh, that's why. There you go. He is the... Creep. That's that's the right kind of name you should be giving these guys, right? Wow. Um. So there's our twenty minutes. So I guess let's check out these two new party members, and then we will. Uh, I don't know why I opened up Pokemon Refresh. Yeah, that's tired. Wrong button. But let's go ahead and check out our two new party members, and then I uh, go ahead and face this little uh, little youngster here to see, uh, you know, how well they perform, I guess. So we have the creep here, Mr. Drowsy, making that noise. Uh, looks like a neutral nature. Pound hypnosis, disable and confusion. Has insomnia. He's up all night. Cannot be put to sleep. And then bashful nature on route two is alert to sound. We have the timid from Halloween Cemetery, Murkrow, uh, that is uh, a speed nature, lowering its attack, making it a special attacking monster. That's going to be good to know. Keep up that special attack. And then it also has insomnia and cannot be put to sleep. That's Pursuit, Astonish, and that Stab, Peck. So Murkrow is going to be amazing once we face Hollow. And then you guys know the rest of our team. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll put these two on the back burner for now. I think we're going to face off against this uh, next trainer with Rufio. Um, I really want to gain that extra cash right now. So Rufio can get that with that happy hour attack. Careful kids, looks like your team could use a trip to the Pokemon Center. Preschool Pistons full power. Preschooler Dylan. So I guess this next, uh, next, next episode, look out for us to check out Halloween Cemetery and make sure we go through those trainers and then swing by the motel to see what's going on and why we're being, uh, drug over there. I think all of our, all of our Pokemon have bite right now. Minimizing Drifling. Okay, go ahead and bite them, Rufio. Just luckily it doesn't hurt too much. And bite once more. Oh, that aftermath it hurts. So watch out for aftermath. So what is the title of this episode? Two new catches, probably. Yeah, it's probably two new catches. So, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. <laughs> we did Happy Oni still only got like... It's the preschool piston stop Pokemon and get them moving for me. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, we'll be back next time. We'll start right here and head towards the cemetery. So thank you guys so much for coming out. This has been Dapper Jolly. I'll bid you guys a Lola and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye now.